hey guys welcome back to my channel to all my subscribers thank you very much you've been so amazing and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet kindly consider hitting the subscribe button below to do so today i'll be showing how to make this beautiful beaded bag so stay connected and watch to the end thank you very much so let's begin So these are the materials we'll be using to make this bag. You have our thread, you have the bead, then the scissors, and our wooden handle. So you just take your thread, put four beads on it, then you cross with the fourth one. You'll be getting something like this so after you continue using three beads one each on the thread then you cross with the third one so we are going to continue this second process till we get to the 11th chain because the size of this bag is 15 by 18 then the side is 7 so when you add 7 times 2 plus 18 times 2 you will be getting 54 so when you get the 54 then you fold it into the shape or the size of the bit of the bag so as you are washing, you will see that when you get to a point, you see that I finished within 53 and I crawl and I join the two sides with the 54th one. Then I get the square of the bag and I folded it in the shape I want it to be. So continue washing as the whole process will be shown to you. So now, since we are doing 15, I've done the 14 points, so I'm about turning to the next side so that I can weave the other side. So when you want to turn, you just put all the three bits on one thread, then you cross with the third one. So you realize that the thread has turned to the other side where you can beat on the other side. So now I've got my 15 chain and I'll continue weaving alongside this same chain to get the size I want. So now you are going to put the three beads on top on the thread on top. Then you cross with the third one. So now you put the thread inside the next bead. So now you will you be weaving with two beads so you get the last chain.
So you are going to continue this process until you get to the last chain. So now we are on the last chain so with that when you put the thread in the next bit which is the last one then you put the two bits on that one then you cross so now we are going to take three bits again on the top thread So this is the third one, so you cross with the third one. So you have you begin another chain again. So we are going to weave alongside all till we get the size we want. So now the thread is finished, so we just bring it together, then you tie it. You take another thread to join.
so you are going to continue weaving till you get the size you want we just weave the same way we are weaving so we get the size we want
so now we are done with weaving the whole body of the beaded uh, bag so what we'll do now is that we'll count we'll, co we'll count and get our bigger side then we'll fold it we'll count for the smaller size then we'll fold it so the bigger side is 18 so you fold it on it when you use this bit you can be able to fold it on it so this is the bigger side i folded on it so now i'll count i'll count for the smaller side again so the smaller side is nine so you count that one and also fold it so now we have one big side one small side so we are going to count another big side 18 steps then we fold it So now you'll be getting something like this. Okay. So the closure side, you are just going to join it with one bit each. Then we get the side, the size of the uh, the back. So this small side is nine is it so we are going to join it making it nine so to join it when you have the thread on it you just put one bit on the thread and the top thread So you make sure the thread turns to the other side where you can join the two sides of the back. So you pick one bit, you put it on it, then you put the thread in the next side of the back. You take another bit, you cross. Then you put the thread on each bit on the side of the tissue of the bag So we are going to continue this to the end of the of the open space just to make sure the bag is closed So now we are done. We are just going to weave another bottom side. So we weaving for the bottom just to cover the down part of the bag. We are going to set this aside. 
and take another thread to weave the bottom part of the bag. So the size of the bottom part is 7 by 16 
it's supposed to be 9 by 18 but because i'll be using one all round to join it when you join it with one all round it will make it 9 by 18 which will fit the bottom of the bag So now we'll be fixing it to the bag. Just take the thread on it, put it in the bead. Just gauge where you have to put it. You realize that I didn't put it on the first bead on the back, but the second one because when joining the smaller side, you use the first bead on the bigger side. So you put the thread in one of the bead on the back, then you put the second thread in the in the bottom part. Then you take your bead to your cross. Please pardon me, my camera was shaking. So you just join it all around. So you get the perfect part of it.
so i'm just continuing to to make sure i join the base to the main bag so that's what i'm doing so as you can see just follow how i'm joining it then you can also do the same as well So what I'm doing now is to give the bag a shape. So you just fold in the side, the small side inside. Then you just try to close the top side of it. So watch me as I joined the two sides to just give a nice shape to the bag.
so you can see how nice the shape has become so beautiful so beautiful so now we will be attaching the handle to it so we will we'll attach the handle to it the size of the bag is 18 so we are going to make it four we'll be using four of it to make the bag so we we'll just weave this same thing we we'll weave this then you count from six then you join from the seventh one so you put a thread on the bag you take one bead and put on the thread then you put the second thread on the square that we just make so we just continue to attach this part to the back as we did for the bottom part how we join the bottom part just attach this one the same way then you are free to go So now after joining the holder to the back, you just take the handle, you put it inside, then you close it down. Just measure where the holder gets to on the back, then you just try to fix it there, then that is it. So guys, this is the final look of our bag. Isn't it beautiful? Please try and do some. And let me know in the comment section how you've been able to go about the whole process and also get something beautiful like this. And please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly consider subscribing. Thank you very much. Bye.